Good evening, Year 8. So I just wanted to post a video um, tonight to uh, basically give you a little bit of revision on gradients uh, before the straight line graphs test that you'll be sitting on Tuesday the 26th of August. Um, so quickly to uh, run through what we've already run through in um, class. When we're dealing with uh, a linear equation or the equation of a straight line, we look at that equation in y-intercept form. So we have y equals m x plus c, where m is the gradient of the line, the gradient of the line, and c is the y value of the y-intercept. Now it's important that we remember this layout or this y-intercept form because it means that when we're asked to find the gradient of certain lines when we're given the equation, we can see the gradient straight away. Now another way that we could describe the gradient in this format is by describing the gradient as the coefficient of x. For example, if you were given the question y equals 2x plus 5 and the question asked you to state the gradient, you would be able to determine straight away that the gradient of the line is the coefficient of x. So in this case, the coefficient of x is 2. Therefore, we can state that m, which is the variable we give to our gradient, equals 2. Now, alternatively, you may be asked to find the gradient if you've already been given a straight line. So coming up on the screen here should be a straight line. We have a straight line that's running through the coordinates 0, 1, and running through the coordinates 1, 4. So in order to find the gradient of this line, we have to measure the slope. Okay, We have to measure the slope of the line. Now, the formula to find the gradient, m equals rise over run. Now, rise can be described as the change in the y-axis and run can be described as the change in the x-axis. So I'll show you now um, how to find the change in the y-axis and the change in the y and the change in the x-axis so we can then determine the gradient of this line. So looking back at the line here, the first thing that we need to do is find two points on the line that we know the exact coordinates of. So in this case we have 1, 4 and we have 0, 1. It's good to use these two points to find the gradient because we know exactly those points on the line. So for, first of all, let's measure the change in the y-axis, the change in the y-axis between these two points. So we measure that by draw a, drawing a dotted line down from the first point vertically, making sure that you're stopping that dotted line exactly where the next coordinate is. Now we can measure that change in the y-axis by going, well, we know that this coordinate along the y-axis is a value of 1, and we know this coordinate along the y-axis is a value of 4. So from 1 to 4 is 3 spaces, so we can measure our rise as 3. We come across from our, the other point that we've chosen horizontally and meet up with our vertical line to measure our change in x-axis. So we know that the value here for our first point along the x-axis is 0, and the value for our second point along the x-axis is 1. So we know that the amount of spaces we have travelled from the first point to the second point along the x-axis is 1. Therefore, we can determine that our rise equals 3 and our run equals 
1. So putting that into the formula, m equals rise over run, we can determine that m equals 3 over 1. Now 3 over 1 can also be described as 3 divided by 1, which makes our m equal to, well 3 divided by 1 means how many times does 3 go into 1? 3 divided by 1 is 3. So the gradient of this line is 3. Guys, if you have any other questions, please feel free to post um, any questions on the discussion forum and I'll endeavour to get back to you um, as soon as possible. Alternatively, please drop some questions down from this video, come into class and, um, and I'll find some time to either go through them in class or um, we'll find some time at lunch, recess, after or before school. Thanks for listening guys and uh, make sure you study for the test. Ciao.